On today's episode of Amanda and Felix Eats, we'll be going over our top eats of 2022. And guys, you don't want to miss this one because we're going to be going over all of the highlights, all the ono grinds of 2022. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. For this episode, we're kicking off the year with our top eats of 2022. And guys, this is our list of the best places that we ate in 2022. And it's not in any particular order, and it's all based on our personal opinions. So if you guys have any other suggestions you want to suggest, leave it down in the comments. Or if there's any restaurants or places we might have missed, Drop it down in the comments below. And as always, if you guys are interested in any of the places that we mentioned today, it'll also be down in the description. Now let's get into the list. So the way this list is gonna work is it's gonna go by categories, guys. And we made up our own categories, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what do you made up? We kind of made it up. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna be up front. The best plate lunch is gonna be our first category. And the honor of the best plate lunch category goes to broke the mouth grinds oh my goodness guys if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out these two for sure these two oh, for sure okay yeah. so we did good then so this category was one of the hardest ones because we feature quite a few plate lunches on this channel and broke the mouth grinds lived up to its name literally my mouth was on the floor i had to pick it up everything tastes great authentic very awesome crew there as well definitely check them out guys and they had a wide variety like a range of things not just like one thing in particular and they did the plate lunches a bit different than normal plate lunches in my opinion so definitely check out that video and head on over to broke them out grinds in kapole i love that sweet garlicky smell you can even smell the fruity cocky on here yeah this big piece okay i wanted a small piece but i feel like i got the biggest piece no no look at this bombucha <laughs> this thing is gonna break them out if you know what i mean cheers guys oh it's starting to rain <laughs> Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Did you just stuff the whole thing in your mouth? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. Mm hmm. That's gonna be the rest of the video. Just mmm, mmm, mmm. That thing is bomb. The next category is seafood. And guys, when I say seafood, you're gonna be thinking, hmm, what does that even mean? I'm talking poke. And the best poke we had in 2022 was at Kebe Bros in Kaneohe. The reason why I personally enjoyed this spot is one, we never go to a place twice in the same day. And we had to stop by again, twice in the same day. So guys, we loved Kebe Bros so much that we had to come back. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah, had to get please. more poke. Oh, the crew there is super awesome. The aunties that were working were so, so nice. You can just feel the family atmosphere, the vibe, and it's super local. And if you're not from Oahu or Kaneohe in general, you might not even have seen this spot. We almost missed it. We didn't even know that this place existed until a lot of you guys recommended it. And we're so grateful you did because it was so unalicious. Local, fresh seafood, awesome hospitality. What more could you ask for? Okay, guys, you don't want to miss out on this spot. We had to go twice in the same day. I mean, that must tell you something. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. Ocean butter. The next category we want to mention, best barbecue. And that honor goes to Sunset Smokehouse Barbecue in Kaka'ako. Oh my goodness. We're gonna be tackling this behemoth plate of awesome meaty goodness. Everything smells amazing. It smells smoky. The meats are glistening. Like it's just waiting to be eaten. So let's dive into this meat fest. Authentic to the bone, literally. A lot of our Texan subscribers went after our video said it's legit so definitely check them out awesome brisket awesome meats and the owner there james very awesome guy texting to the t he even showed us his smoker and everything just check out the video guys and head on over and that's another place that we had to get twice in the same sitting we yes. literally went again what yvonne came back with was not just only a rib she came back with the entire beef rib supposedly they had extra in the, the back right or something mm -hmm. shout out to james he was nice enough to 
share with us. So we're so happy to be able to try the beef rib today with you guys. Oh my goodness, dude, grab this thing. Ah, it's so heavy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at this. What in the world? We were blessed by the meat gods, aka James, the owner, today. <laughs> Look oh. at the nice, glistening. <laughs> and the next category is best Japanese food of 2022. Ooh, that was hard. This might be, yeah, a little controversial, but guys, it's tonkatsu tama fuji. And guys, we waited months, months and months and months. I would say at least three months before we could get a reservation. So that means a lot. And it's not only our favorite Japanese place, it's our favorite tonkatsu place. And when you go there, you're gonna feel the very authentic vibe. And to us, we've eaten Japanese tonkatsu in Japan. And honestly, we personally like Tamafuji better and yes. it's so delicious. And you can just feel the authenticity and all of the pride that they put in everything, down to even the rice, down to even the cabbage, down to even the sauce that goes on the cabbage. It's crazy. You guys gotta definitely check them out. Why do you call them seaweed? This was the best one. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Mm. I forgot how good this was. Oh my god. This juicy, porky, fatty, so moist. The moistest pork ever, trust me. The next category, very popular, Chinese food. And guys, this was a hard one as well. Actually, everything on this list was very hard to narrow down. But for our pick of the best Chinese food goes to Hong Kong Noodle House. Guys, authentic affordable delicious it definitely <laughs> deserves a lot more attention and love guys yeah it's a hidden gem for sure well, i got the egg noodles this is what i usually order so i order it tossed so if you're coming here for the first time it's called tossed noodles which they just simply toss it in their sauce with the choice of protein on the top the reason why hong kong noodle house made it for us as the top chinese food is their hand tossed dried noodles with the roast duck oh my goodness what am i still doing here let's go right now Man is already going away at my noodles. The noodles are really, really good. I'm like in awe right now. Can you can you tell the Fuyo Hana that I told you to get the egg noodles prior mm -hmm. to this and you, she didn't listen to me? Mm -hmm. See, it's always the case. <laughs> she never listens to me. She eats all my fries. She eats all my noodles. <laughs> And riding on that Chinese food train, the next category is the best dim sum of 2022. And that honor is going to Young Yi Ki Dim Sum on Kapiolani Boulevard near the Alamana area. And the reason why we truly enjoy this spot is because we know that they put so much effort and love and care into their dim sum. And every time we go there, it is always the same and onalicious. Young Yi Ki, yummy. Barbecue baked char siu bao. You guys, trust us and order this. You might want to order two or three Orders. And another thing too, the perfect thing about this, it's made for the sweet and savory gang and you guys will find out why in a second. And the reason why they're the top dim sum of 2022 for us was because one, the location is super convenient and they have dim sum all day long and they're open pretty late and you can make reservations. So it's a really easy way to get your dim sum fix. Cheers. A local favorite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the next category, another crowd favorite, buffets. And guys, this one goes to 100 sales because they're available for brunch buffet and dinner buffet. And the last few times we've gone, they've been consistent. It is a little more on the pricey side, but guys, it's Hawaii, Hawaii buffets. Definitely check out 100 sales for their carving station. If you're going for brunch, check out that omelet station. They even have a waffle station, guys. And of course, crab all day long. So check out 100 sales. And you can't beat that 100 sale view as well. Y'all ready for this food, Yohana? Earth shattering crunch. Here we go. Mmm. Oh man, you gotta get this. You gotta get this. Nothing beats fresh crab and butter. Hot butter. Oh, goodness. 
And the next category will be the best hidden gem of 2022. And for us, that spot goes to Joe's Grill out near the airport. And the reason why that place is such a hidden gem is one, they are out near the airport. So if you guys are craving some Ono grinds near the airport, definitely check out Joe's Grill. It was super, super busy. So I guess it's not super hidden, but for us locals, not a lot of us knew about Joe's Grill. So it was super awesome to go there and eat some of their Onalicious grinds. Put it in your mouth and enjoy the flavor train. They have something for everyone there. And the thing I love about Joe's Grill is that tourists and locals alike can all come together. So it's a great place for people all over the world to come together and eat some Ono grinds. Definitely check them out. The grand reveal. Da -da -da -da. Oh my goodness, is that ube French toast? Wow, that looks amazing. Oh guys. my goodness, is this Amanda, like an Amanda takeover? Oh my God. <laughs> this is like everything Amanda. They know me so well. And the next category we want to cover, Italian food. And that award goes to Bocconcino. We just released that video during Vlogmas, but guys, definitely check them out for authentic Italian deli fare. I mean, they have all the imported goods you could ask for homemade fresh focaccia and homemade cheese oh my goodness the cheese guys we even went there last night <laughs> yes so no, good. no joke we went it's authentic it's craveable head on down bocconcino in kakako area look at my meats hanging out <laughs> you know i love it when my meat hangs out cheers mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. this is the one. Oh my gosh that cream it tastes literally like melt in your mouth. Oh my goodness. And the next category we want to talk about is a local comfort food, which is Simon. The best Simon of 2022 goes to Shige's Simon Stand. And the reason why we truly enjoyed Shige's is one, you have all the local hospitality. Everyone there is super, super nice. They have all the old school pictures on the wall. You instantly feel at home. And the noodles and the broth and the fried noodles. It's just... You can't go wrong there. Even the terry sticks was good. It just made us feel so comforted and so at home being there. The staff was super nice. You just gotta go. Get that experience, you guys. The true local experience. I wanna try the broth first. Always gotta try the broth first. Mm, very nostalgic. Mm. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, this noodles, wow. Okay, I love that fried salmon. Like, shockingly good. Shockingly good, wow. We'll try this shockingly awesome noodles here. That, that's where it's at, guys. Mm. And the next category, guys, Korean food. This one has to go to Old Kim's. We love Old Kim's for her fun take on Korean fare and it never disappoints. Every single time we go, the dishes are amazing. Miss Kim herself is very nice. So check them out and see what's new on their menu. They curate their menus every month. And a lot of you folks have actually been there and have told us personally that you truly enjoyed it. So that just makes it feel even better when we go and we're like, wow, you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. So definitely check it out. Mm, so <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. And again, if you want to see any of the spots that we've mentioned today, please check the description down below. We're going to have everything linked down there. And if you like this type of content, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you want to hit that subscribe button for us, that would mean a lot too. Come join our Foodie Ohana and we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until the next one, check out those places on the list. Explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye, guys. And we made up these old... <laughs> what? <laughs> Logo... <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. The next spot we want to talk about... The next spot we want... <clears throat> you guys can tell we're rusty. Um, the next spot we want to talk about... We have the honor of mentioning... Wait, wait. The next... 
category is. So we're, so we're gonna be. What the heck is that? Oh, I think that's just crickets. Oh my god. Okay. My neck is getting yeah. burnt. Is it still getting burnt from here? No. Sorry, uh, we had to move, guys. The sun is uh, moving. We're moving with the sun.